Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthfication Chronicles, and I was just kind of hanging out on Twitter a little bit today, and I came across this, and I really wanted to share it with you. This is from Brian Cates, and he's one that writes for Epic Times a lot, and I've quoted him a few times before. He always has some good stuff to say, and so this one, he says, people in modern progressive America are now so woke, they are self-segregating themselves. I'm so woke, I just can't ever possibly even date someone from a different race. I'm having so much fun watching this. This is really getting crazy. I mean, the funny thing is, these progressives think that they are, you know, the most tolerant people in the world and everything, and they point their fingers at conservatives and say, well, conservatives are not tolerant at all, when in reality, they're the ones that are not being tolerant. We see it very clearly that they're the ones that are really having trouble with people who don't think just like they do. And so he goes on, he says, who knew that interracial dating marriages were really just another insidious form of white privilege? <laughs> Soon, progressive white people will only be able to eat white food, dress white, marry and date white, listen to white music and vote for white politicians because, hey, white guilt will compel them to. And I'm fine with this. That means conservative guys like me have more of the Mexican Chinese food to eat and hot Latina and black women to date. <laughs> A few years back, I watched these insane people attacking this person for adopting a black child. Yes, these lunatics attack interracial adoption too. I always knew this was coming and now it's here. Sane people will reject this. Most Americans aren't lunatics. And this really is so funny because that is what's happening. And you're seeing it, that there's just this idea that a woke person, now this is something you have to be aware of, that the left and the right look at the word woke a little differently, okay? And ironically, they will say that they are so woke, they are a woke person, when in reality, what they're doing is becoming a sheep or an NPC. That's really what they're doing. And they're following the crowd to make their ideas line up with what the crowd, because they know if they don't do that, they're going to be ostracized from the crowd. And this is something that is, you know, is very important not to be put out of the social circle. That's very important to them. And really, in some ways, I'm going to tell you this, and I may get flack for it, I know, but in some ways, I think this has to do with how people perceive bullying. And this is a type of bullying when you are forced to believe a certain way or your people that surround you, your social circle, will ostracize you. That's a type of bullying. It's a social bullying. And that's something that it's funny that the, the left seems to say, no, that's wrong yet they cave to it all the time and that's part of it. So this is what I see happening here. And I think he pointed it out. It's very perceptive of him. You know, people in modern progressive America are so woke, they're self-segregating themselves. <laughs> and this whole idea that you can't eat like Chinese food or Mexican food because you're white that's crazy, man. Really crazy. I love Chinese food. Okay. And I'm pretty fond of Mexican food too. So, you know, I just like different kinds of food. It's no big deal. I like Italian food. <laughs> so it doesn't matter really. And this whole idea that, you know, you're appropriating somebody else's culture is crazy and is the opposite of diversity and inclusion, you know? It's okay if I want to eat some Chinese food. That has nothing to do with China. In fact, it's actually kind of, uh, you know, a compliment to them because I enjoy their food so much. And so it's one of those things where the left is so focused on this white privilege thing that they can't see past it and they can't actually view the reality around it which is when you're wearing some clothing that may be associated with a certain culture, or if you're eating certain foods that may be associated with a certain culture, 
that's not a bad thing. It's not an insult to them. In fact, it is a compliment. And this is how the left, again, turns things upside down. It's this topsy-turvy world that we're living in right now where good is called evil and evil is called good. And that, again, is found in Isaiah 520. So very important. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you and thought you'd be interested in seeing what he had to say. So I'll leave the link down below. You can go in and comment on it if you want to. There's some interesting comments underneath, you know, that uh, they're just kind of separating themselves because using privilege. Okay, it's just crazy, this whole idea of white privilege and whatever. So it seems to me like, yeah, if you're going to say, well, I can't marry somebody of another race, that makes you racist, doesn't it? Seems like it would be to me. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all later.